What's going on uh, guys, uh, six episode now in the transfer talk series and we're on to Everton who have been struggling a little bit in the league, um, I think part of that is down to Europe and uh, being in Europe, albeit they haven't had a great Christmas period either whilst they've had a break from that, um, they're out of both the domestic cups now so and the 12th in the league, only five wins in the league which is pretty much unheard of for Everton, I know the fans uh, a little bit disgruntled, you know, I watched their last game against Albion um, and the fans uh, were slightly getting on top, you know, they dominated the game and they probably should have won it, obviously the penalty palaver happened with Morales taking it rather than Baines um, and I'll, I'll talk about that just quickly now, um, there has been a link away um, from Everton for Kevin Morales, there's no teams really been um, linked with him but he after what happened uh, with him being substituted after the penalty miss and Bayern's not taking it, it looks more of a possibility that Morales could be leaving um, Goodison Park this uh, this January window. Um, replacements that I've heard, if he does go, would be Conan Plianka, um, who Liverpool tried to sign um, uh, on a few attempts, actually. They're looking for a cut price of him. Um, you know, if I was Everton, I'd be looking to keep hold of Morales. You know, he's one of your best players. He's very direct and he gets you goals. And what Copa Blanca has been linked. He's not a bad player from what I know of him. I remember playing, him playing against England once, I think, and he absolutely destroyed our defence at Wembley. Um, I think the other the other reason why Everton aren't doing too well um, is I look at their squad and I think maybe for one or two players it's a season too far to be playing week in week out. I'm looking particularly at the defence, I remember how good defensively Everton were last year. I know how it's been out lately but the one player in particular I look at is um, Sylvan Distan, 36 years of age, 35-36 years of age. Um, I really like him as a centre back, he's done well for Everton whilst he's been there, he's been there for a f good few seasons now, of course he was at Man City as well and did pretty good uh, as among one or two of the clubs in the Prem. Um, he's a big man, he's a very big man, he's built, he's still got his fitness levels but at that age, particularly when they're in Europe as well, and I know he's been playing in Europe, he seems to have slowed down a little bit and he has been a massive player in the past for Everton. Then you've got players uh, looking at your squad, you know, uh, like Tony Hibbert, he's not the youngest, you know, same with Osmond, same applied to Pina, um, and then again in your first team, look at maybe even people like Jaggy Elka, I know he's an England regular, but he does seem to be slowing down, he's not the player he was, you know, the prime days for him, definitely gone. And one more, um, Gareth Barry, who I always think is a fantastic player, I really, really do, but in terms of work rate and whether we can do a job defensively in that deep line position, I'm not so sure whether we can um, do it as well anymore. And all these things start to tell its toll, you know. Everton aren't the richest club in the world. Um, I know they spent the best part of £30 million on uh, Romelu Lukaku last year, but um, it doesn't, doesn't really seem... Uh, like they're gonna be able to replace these players with top quality centre backs, you know. Uh, if you're looking for a centre back um, ten years younger than Distan of his quality, you're gonna be looking at ten to fifteen million. If you're looking for a deep line midfielder, I know you've got players like Bessic who've tried to play there and done okay there. You know he's he's only a young lad, but you're gonna be looking at ten to ten million pounds again. Um, but there are positives for Everton. I still think your fullbacks are very, very good. Baines hasn't had his best year, but he will come. Um, he's still a quality, quality player. And Seamus Sh Coleman, who I think is a top, top right back. Let's just hope they can keep hold of him as well. Um, Ross Barkley, again, is another talent. He's done very well this year. So it's not looking all bad. Um, other than Copa Blanca, four wingers um, for Everton. I was looking um, at potentially Munoyin, who is a similar player to uh, De La Faye, who you had on loan for Barcelona. Um, he's direct, he's very, very quick, he can get goals as well. Uh, I was just wondering whether, if Morales again does go, whether you could bring him in. Um, I think you would need to replace Morales. Magidi, for me, he hasn't really hit it off um, at Everton so far. 
Um, so yeah, I know Nice was still very well, but for me he's better. He's better inside. Uh, so yeah, Munwain or Capablanca, I think would be very very good signings if Morales were to go, and even if he was and to go, um, I could see one of them coming here and still making a real real impact. Um, I still think you need more cover for Barry. I know you've got the likes of Giz. And Osman, but the quality just isn't there. As, again, I mentioned Bessic, who, who can play. Um, but I just think one, maybe one more central midfielder, uh, a deep line who can pass the ball well. I know Osman likes to play a bit more advanced. Uh, Gibson tries to pass the ball. Whether he's good enough, I don't know. Um, I, I'd like to see what you Everton fans think of him. And also, um, I think potentially another striker. Now, now Samuetto has gone um well pretty much it's a, been a done deal um i think you can look for a striker and one player i would look at whether it's realistic or not i'm not too sure but i can see him doing quite well there i genuinely can uh is steven fletcher because i think he's a, still a very very good player again it's it's not the youth most youthful but i know you've got lukaku who's still only 21 it's unbelievable to think that um, but him and Lukaku, there's no reason why they couldn't strike up a little of a partnership, or for Fletcher to even be a, a bit of a, a bit of a starter as well, and give Lukaku a bit of a bit of competition. Uh, I know you've got Avuna Kone as well, who who's not a bad player, you know, he, he he's all right, but again, he's not prolific. Um, he's another one that's came from Wigan, uh, like Alcaraz did um, with Martinez, and and of course Joel the keeper. Um, but yeah, that's another position I'll be looking to uh, strengthen. If you Everton fans um, think I've missed anyone out, or you'd like to see someone more realistic come down and play it for you at Goodison this January, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be sure to get back to uh, all of you. If you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like. Uh, I really do appreciate everyone who has watched. So yeah, uh, next up, I believe it's Liverpool, so we're staying in uh, Merseyside. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.